Hi everyone, Monica Fernandez with Evolution Essentials. We're talking about spicy essential oils. It's not what you think. We're talking about the power of fruit, seeds, and bark, why you should use them, their overall benefits, and how to incorporate these into your wellness regimen. So stick around, you guys. I want to tell you first, it's not the spicy quality that you think. Your naughty mind, really? Seriously. Spicy in terms of the power of fruit, seeds, and bark. Spicy essential oils are really from the root, stem, seed, fruit, or bark of the plant. We're going to be talking about black pepper, pink pepper, cardamom, cassia, cinnamon bark, clove, coriander, cumin, dill, fennel, ginger, and juniper berry all fall under this spice category. Are you excited? This is a lot of essential oils I'm going to be talking about. You may think about spices. You're thinking about herbs. We're going to leave the herbs for another day. And we're going to be talking about the spices, particularly from, like I said, the root stems, fruit, or bark. So the seeds as well. You're obviously thinking, well, if they're spicy, can I use them for cooking? Absolutely, you can. And in terms of all these spices, what you can do for cooking this is very simple. You take a wood toothpick. Yes, it has to be wood. You don't want to be using plastic. You got to be, you know, sustainably conscious. You are going to dip your wooden toothpick into the bottle. And then at the end of your recipe, you're going to dip that toothpick into your dish. You don't want to be overcooking essential oils. You want the flavor Obviously, you want to keep that flavor. These spicy essential oils help enhance the flavor of whatever dish you're doing. And they're also carrying these therapeutic benefits I'm going to be talking about. Are you ready? Take a notepad. We're going to go one after the other. It's going to be quick. I promise. Each oil has different impact on your overall systems and different systems. So we're going to be talking about first black pepper. Now you think of black pepper is just seasoning, but the black pepper essential oil is just so much more than seasoning. It has an absolute antioxidant benefit. It's got awesome, great benefits to protect your body from free radicals. You can really use it to soothe anxious feelings when you're diffusing it. In terms of the black pepper, we're talking about the fruit, you know, those little black seeds. What's important is that black pepper is super antioxidant superhero. Did you see what I said? Super antioxidant superhero. There's a lot of supers here. Exactly. Pink pepper is actually slightly a little bit different. It also has those pink peppercorns. And if you live in Florida, in South Florida, you might have heard of the Florida holly. I have some of that. And actually, Florida holly is Peruvian pink peppercorn. So you actually can, you have pink peppercorn. Pink, pink peppercorn. Oh my God. Okay, pink pep peppercorn. So when taken internally, pink pepper may support a healthy immune, digestive, and respiratory system. So we're talking about three systems. It's a little bit more flowery than the black pepper, but it also has that ability to relax potentially your nervous system. So they're slightly different. You can actually use these peppers if you want, again, with the toothpick method in your recipes. And also think of salad dress. You can really pick up a notch, make it a little spicy and put a little bit of black pepper, but again, just a tiny bit and then taste. And if you think it needs more, then you can dip your toothpick again. So these are awesome, awesome peppercorns, spicy uh, black pepper and pink pepper. If essential oils are new to you, I actually did a video right here on what are the top 10 benefits of essential oils. The next up is cardamom. It's super fragrant. It's a little bit, I would say, exotic. I remember in college when I was doing my master's degree, I actually met uh, this couple from Israel and they would put cardamom in their coffee. So I've actually tried that with the essential oil and you don't need a lot because it's very, very powerful. You can also put it in water because it's a great essential oil to aid digestion, ease digestion. So if you have some digestive things, you can definitely add cardamom to your oil arsenal. And you also can use it to help your respiratory system and clear breathing. So you can actually use it internally to promote a healthy respiratory system and clear breathing, very similar to peppermint. If you recall, I actually did a video on peppermint. So you can watch that right here. 
in terms of the dual function of the respiratory and digestive aid. And cardamom is similar, but it is a spicy oil. Peppermint is herbal. Cardamom is also from the seed. So the essential oil comes from the seed. That's really what I have to say about cardamom. The next one up is cassia and cinnamon bark. Now they're very, very similar in terms of smell and taste, but slightly different. Sometimes what is sold as cinnamon is actually cassia because cassia is more widely available and it's a more affordable version of cinnamon they curb your appetite. You can actually combine one to two drops in a glass of water with lemon oil to ward off hunger cravings. You can also take it in a veggie cap if that's too powerful for you to promote your cardiovascular system. And the part that is used, like I said, is the bark. You know, it like looks like these little wooden sticks cinnamon bark you can also take to help your metabolism and also to soothe your throat if you want to put it in water or tea again put a little bit because it's really really powerful and it, again cinnamon bark is distilled the essential oil is distilled from the bark next up is our super power antioxidant and that's clove and clove is in the ORAC scale that measures antioxidants, clove rates at a million seventy eight compared to say blueberries, that's much less. Clove is like a million seventy eight. Think of really grabbing clove, embracing it. And if you don't like the taste, that's okay. You can put it in a veggie cap. I'm going to leave in the description also how you can get those. You can add it to your supplement routine and put two to three drops in a capsule to support cardiovascular health. Now, big warning, 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 huge warning for you. I don't recommend using essential oils internally because most of the essential oils out there are not safe to be taken internally because they are actually not pure and they've been contaminated or adulterated, cut with something, or there's worse, they're synthetic copies. And that's dangerous. You don't want to be using that in a therapeutic manner. However, the oils brand that I use has third-party testing. You can be sure that it's submitted so many tests that you know exactly what the chemical profile is in terms of the standard profile of essential oils. And that is the reason that I would only, only recommend internal use by adults that are educated in this process. And less is more. Essential oils are chemicals. They're chemicals from nature. They're very, very powerful. And you need to be careful in how to use it. So in terms of using these spicy essential oils, you can also just use them in the diffuser and diluted in fractionated coconut oil. So in a carrier oil, because you might not be comfortable using them internally and that's perfectly okay. So getting back to the oils, we were talking about clove, you know, clove dentists used to use clove for teeth health and to help maintain also gums clean. So the part of the plant that's used with a clove is actually the bud. So next up is coriander. Now you may not use coriander a lot and you may I think I've heard of coriander. What's coriander? You know, cilantro, I'm sure. The cilantro is actually the leaf part and coriander is the seed part. So it's actually the same plant that gives us two different essential oils, one that is herbal and one that is a seed. So it's a spice. And coriander is great to add to your moisturizer to promote a clear complexion. You can dilute it. Absolutely. You need to dilute essential oils when applying topically. It actually is more effective that way. That's coriander. Next up is cumin. Cumin is not a uh, cumin essential oil with a brand that I use is not widely available. It's a limited uh, edition product sometimes, but cumin, if you've used cumin in cooking, you may also realize that cumin is a great digestive aid. So you can uh, put it in water dilute it in water or put it in a capsule to help relieve occasional upset stomach and to purify your body's systems. And the part of the plant that's used is the seed. The next seed I'm going to talk about is dill. Now, I love dill. And from the picture that I'm showing you now, dill 
has, you know, has the flowers. It has like the little leaves, which is so great with salmon. And then it's got the seeds. So the oil here, the spicy essential oil comes from the seed. It really tastes exactly the same as the herb. Can't get your hands on the fresh herb to put it in the salad or on fish or something like that. You can definitely grab dill, which is also not an essential oil that is available all the time, but if you have it, grab it. And you can diffuse that with bergamot and lemon to help reduce stress or anxious feelings. And it also has antioxidant protection. So when you are putting it in your food, so for example, you can make a vinaigrette. Also, you can make a marinade out of it. The vinaigrette, like I said, is, is really good. You can drink it to purify your body systems. If you have issues with anxiety, I highly recommend that you watch this video right here. It's the top eight essential oils for anxious feelings. I go over the ones specifically for that. Next up is fennel. If you've had fennel, it has a little bit of an anisette licorice flavor. The fennel essential oil comes from the seed and it's really great for different things. It helps support a healthy respiratory system. It will fight sweet tooth cravings by taking one drop in water. If you've ever been to an Indian or Nepalese restaurant, sometimes they have fennel seeds at the end. Instead of like the mints, they have fennel because it's really great to help with healthy metabolism and liver function and circulation. And it's really, really yummy. If you don't like licorice, you're not going to like fennel. Next up is the big, big kahuna of digestive help, which is ginger. If you've ever had issues with bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion, you want to add ginger to your essential oils because you can take it in a capsule if you don't like the taste. And ginger, if you've ever cooked with ginger, fresh ginger, it's the root, right? So the essential oil also comes from the root of ginger. And one of the other things that I love to carry ginger with me is if you're going to go on a boat or on a very long trip, because it helps reduce occasional nausea and helps with balance. So it's a really great one. If you are feeling queasy and your stomach is just like jumping up and down, ginger is a great oil to have. I almost forgot to mention celery seed. Now, celery you know all the hype with the juicing and everything. You can actually put celery seed into your smoothie or your whatever you are drinking. Celery seed is amazing for digestion. Celery seed is also very soothing for the skin. So you can add that if you want to your moisturizer. It has a strong, sweet and spicy aroma. It supports the nervous and digestive systems. It also calms the body and the mind. And it's very cleansing both internally and externally. So that's why I mentioned the skin as well. Add it to your massage oil if you want, because it's very soothing. For those of you who don't like celery, celery, some people that don't like celery, you may like the taste, but you don't like to eat it because it's really stringy. You don't run into that problem when you're actually using it in your food with a celery seed oil. So it's a really great oil to have for your cooking as well and to add it for your smoothies to promote a healthy digestion. The last spicy essential oil I'm going to talk about is juniper berry. Now here is the only berry I'm going to talk about that is a spice oil. Juniper berry is great to take internally in a capsule to support healthy kidney and urinary tract function. I use juniper berry a lot. When my dad had UTIs, I would put a roll on on his uh, abdomen section there, diluted and fractionated coconut oil with some other oils. But it's a great natural cleanser and detoxifying agent. You can also add juniper berry to your facial mask to use it as a skin toner if you want. It's really multifaceted. And that's what happens with essential oils. They're very multifaceted all the time. And one of the things I didn't mention is if you haven't subscribed already, click right here, the red button. Don't forget to hit the bell because the bell will notify you when I upload a new video to my channel. Do you think that you're going to be using some spicy essential oils? Spicy, spicy, spicy. I'm telling you, I probably should have called it spice essential oils, but it's spicy because they are spicy. Some of them are spicy. You only need a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be, whoa, whoa.
right? I hope you got major value from this video. Please comment below with which essential oil, which spicy essential oil you're going to start with. I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, check out my description because I have 25% off in my description of the essential oil brand that I use. So check that out. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. See you next time.